release anything for any. Oh, well, th there's no releases needed because we're in public. Uh, Just that, so you know how that works. Yeah, so I'll be fine. Okay, thank you. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press, and we are coming to you today from Grand Junction, Colorado. And we are at the uh, city of Grand Junction, City Hall. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today, and we're going to uh, pay a little visit on these folks here and just see if the city of Grand Junction honors the First Amendment and our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Uh, let me just give you a little look at the neighborhood here. Well, time and temperature check. Today is Tuesday, March 3rd. It is 1127 AM and it is 47 degrees in sunny, Grand Junction, Colorado. So let's take a look and see what kind of signage we have on the uh, entrance here. City of Grand Junction. Very cool. All right, let's go in and have a look. See how these guys are doing today. Wow, this is cool. It's a nice uh, stone carving up there in the center. Very cool. Some, uh, some permits and forms here. Oh, look at that sign permit. Banner permits, which I guess are temporary. Fence applications, very cool. Here's the uh, Grand Valley Vision 2020 statement. Guys can pause that and take a look at it if you like. This is the uh, planning department. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Might I just ask your name and what you do here at this department? Hi. <laughs> oh, we're just. My name's Jason. I'm being rude. I should have introduced myself first. My name's Jason. This is my son Ben. Hi. And we're just traveling through we live in the Denver area so we just actually drove to uh, Nevada and we're on the way home so we're stopped in Grand Junction tired last night and we're just checking the city out before we leave cool yeah my name is Santa and this is the city community development department okay and we review permits for new homes new fences accessory structures new commercial development apartment buildings and do you have a separate uh, building and permit division, or is this basically all that goes on here? We actually contract with Mesa County Building Department. Oh, you do? Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Very cool. Well, I thank you for the information. We appreciate your smile. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks. And this young lady back here is just glad she's a couple of rows back and doesn't have to be involved. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Thank you. All persons entering this facility are subject to search. Following items are prohibited as weapons of any kind, pepper spray, mace, drugs, Explosive cell phones, food and beverages. You may return these items to your vehicle now or they will be confiscated. Okay, so let's see. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, I have a pocket knife on the cell phone, so let's go drop that stuff in the car and uh, we'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so I dropped my uh, pocket knife and my cell phone off in my car, and we're going to head back in. Let 
Yeah, what does it say again? Just to be sure. <laughs> so, no weapons, don't have any. No pepper, spray or mace, don't have any. No drugs, don't have any. No explosives, no cell phones, no food and beverage. Okay, we're good. Exit, please do not enter. Please enter here. And then same sign here again. Oh wow, this is cool. Wow, that's very cool. It's made out of like uh, steel plate or aluminum. Aluminum it feels like. Very nice. Another sculpture here. Title of this painting is Redlands View by Gary O'Gara. Pretty cool. Water fountain, very important for uh, anyone visiting Colorado or the southeast or southwest. Make sure you drink plenty of water. So this building was constructed in 1884 to house the Lowell Elementary School. Again, another building that used to be a school and repurposed into a city hall. Um, later in 1925, it became the first home of Alessa College. The Mesa County Library too had its beginning here in 1940, condemned in 1948. This building was remodeled and again opened in 1950 as the Grand Junction City Hall. Very cool. It's a nice council chamber. Yeah. Do you work here for the city? No. No? Oh, okay. Yeah. We're just traveling through, so I was going to see if maybe there was any information you could give us or anything you could tell us that's no, interesting. Sorry. No, huh? Well, my name's Jason, by the way, just to introduce myself. This is my son, Ben. Thanks, Jason. Pleasure to meet you, sir. You too. Thank you. Are they preparing for a meeting? Right, exactly. Gotcha. Oh, so I get the feeling you might be the media guy. No. No, <laughs> all right. Presenter. A, a presenter, there you go. Yeah. Well, this is a nice place to present. It's a beautiful room. And we'll just take a look around for two seconds, and we'll get out of your hair so you can get set up. That's okay. What was your first name? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. I'm Ron. Ron, nice to meet you, Ron. Jason again. So I always like to just get the view from the captain's seat here. Cool. And we have uh, Old Glory standing proud. All righty. So we'll let Ron get back to work and continue our tour. You have a good day, young man. Thank you. Take your time. I oh, appreciate you. We're good. Thanks. All right. So city clerk. I wonder if the city clerk's in. Hello. Hi, dear. How are you? Good. Is the city clerk available by any chance? She is not. She's not. She's not okay. in the office at the moment. Would you happen to have a business card for us, or maybe I can call at a later time? You bet. Sure. And I'm sorry, my name is Jason. This is my son, Ben. Hi, dear. How are you? What is your first name? I'm Janice. Hi, Janice. Pleasure to meet you. There's one this All righty. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Yeah, that is nice. And there's stairs. You know, I like stairs. Um, all right, so let's see what else is here on this level, and then we can head upstairs. Are you 
So the city clerk's name is Wanda Winkleman, and she's not in right now. Uh, I was hoping we could speak to her for a moment, but not today. There's a restricted access. And then uh, no signs here or keypads or anything, so I guess we can check this hallway out. And then these rooms are locked or key card access, so that's good. This is nice. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Here's the uh, city manager's office. Very cool. This is a nice, uh, I don't know, I guess you'd call it like an atrium. It's a nice room. <clears throat> so this is the city attorney uh, city council and city manager's office. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, my name's Jason. Are you Belinda, I guess? I am. Hi, Belinda. How are you? Good. This is my son, Ben. Nice Hi. to meet you. Is the city manager available by any chance? He's not. He's in a meeting in the conference room. Okay. Uh, we're just traveling, so we always stop in municipalities and city halls and visit local government and try to shake hands with the people that make the wheels turn and nice. just meet meet and greet. Uh -huh. So yeah, if he's busy, I understand. Do you have a card by any chance maybe and I can... Sure. Maybe we can give him a call and uh, next time we're in Grand Junction we can set up a meeting. Well, I was just saying to my son, maybe what we'll do is give him a call and see if next time we're coming through town, maybe we can set up an appointment. And, sure. Yeah. Okay. So it's Greg... Caton. Caton. Yeah. Okay, good. I like to pronounce things properly. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Bet. Have a good day. Finance. Oh, boy. <laughs> Finance is where it usually all goes down. We'll see. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Are you Danny? I am. My name is Jason Danny. How are you? Jason. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. And we're just walking around your building, bothering everybody, poking our noses around Grand Junction. Okay. Yeah, we're from the Denver area. So we drove to Nevada and uh, we were driving home last night and got exhausted. So we just stopped at a hotel and woke up this morning and said, let's check the place out. Well, nice. Yeah. So I'm sure you don't get too many people coming through City Hall with cameras but we that's what we do because we're actually just to give you the short story we uh our our mission is to visit all 50 state capitals so we're kind of doing monthly trips doing that so we're recording what we do and we're we like to meet the people in the municipal buildings and the people that make the wheels turn and you know meet some locals and see if there's any anything interesting about where better to go to get information than city hall there you go. so that's what we do yeah nice. so we're just roaming around the building and your office was next okay so do you mind telling us what you do here Accounts receivable. Okay, I saw the sign there, but I never like to assume. Yeah. So, very cool. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you very much for your smile. It's a nice welcome to your city. We appreciate that. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Anything interesting you can tell us about Grand Junction or anything you think we should see while we're here? Um, or any it, it bit of interesting history we wouldn't have found out about or anything? Or? Not that I can think of. I'm probably not your best reference. Okay. Well, we ask everybody. Do you, are you, you live in Grand Junction? I do. Cool. Right on. It's a nice place to live. It is. It is. Cool. All righty. Well, thank you very much. You're All righty. Have a great day. What the photographs? Yeah, they are actually pretty cool. Wow. Look at this guy. This guy's hoping it doesn't rain. <laughs> That's very cool. Oh, look at this. Grand Junction Fire Department, 1907. Wow, my grandmother was eight years old. The first cabin in Grand Junction, Colorado. Wow, that's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, Danny, next time somebody comes in asking about interesting things at Grand Junction, just point them towards these photographs and you're off the hook. All right. <laughs> All righty. Thanks.
Take care. All right, so the meeting in progress. We won't yeah. bother these folks. And this is the executive conference room. So that's probably where the city manager is having his meeting. This is pretty cool. It's a nice building. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. How are you today? Good, good. Good, thanks. Test date or test time, and it doesn't say who the supervisor is. Hi. It just says Parks. So I don't see him in Justifax, and I don't see him in a drug screen for this year. I wonder what that is. So. They're in all the offices. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, Can I help you with Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Good. I didn't want to bother these young ladies on the phone. So my name's Jason. Hi, Pleasure Aaron. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Aaron. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet Hello. you. And we're just walking around bothering everybody in your building, just checking the place out. <laughs> we uh, live in Denver area okay. and uh, drove to Nevada and we're headed back mm -hmm. last night, got tired, pulled over, stayed in a hotel here and we just uh, woke up this morning. It's a sunny, beautiful day. And so let's go meet the folks at Grand Junction. Okay. Yeah. So we're just stopping by to say hello. Okay. Anything interesting you can tell us Ooh, about Grand Junction or the building or anything so yeah but that's what everybody seems to say yeah there's a lot of history here yeah yeah so we just okay. think it's interesting yeah I what do you do here for this office if I you don't mind me asking workers comp and payroll or workers comp and benefits okay cool very cool i bet that keeps you busy yeah yeah for sure yeah okay. well all right i won't take up any more of your time but i appreciate you coming out and being cordial with us and nice thank you. you thank you very much Thanks. great have a good day hi paula hi how are you? Oh, I'm Kathy. Oh, you're Kathy. See, yeah, and I just said to somebody in another office, I saw the sign that said uh, whatever it was, and I said, but I don't like to assume when I see a sign, so I shouldn't have assumed your no, name was Paula. Okay. I, I, I could have answered and just let it go. Yeah, you could have, right? Yeah, that might be a good idea. No, no but it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, nice. Kathy. And what we. Are we're just, this is my son, Ben. My name's Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are those cameras, your cameras? You're taking yeah, pictures. yeah, we're documenting our trip. Well, what we're doing is we have a uh, very ambitious goal of visiting all 50 state capitals. Oh. So we started three months ago. We went to Cheyenne. Yeah. Uh, last month, we went to Salt Lake City. Yeah. This month, we kind of skipped the capital and just went to Nevada because we're not going up to Carson City yet because yeah. that's on our uh, Northern California trip. Mm -hmm. So we're doing monthly trips and we're going to visit all the state capitals and i've said it a thousand times some people take pictures of birds some people take pictures of trains we like to come in and meet the folks that make the wheels turn and keep the city going and the locals and see if we can get any information and we're going yeah 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 no and your cheery smile is a beautiful welcome to your city and we appreciate that i feel lucky to be here so well that and it it shines through in what you do so no we appreciate that i do love it well actually i retired from here and now i'm back just temporarily so i come in kind of come and go when i want part-time temporary that's good they give you that yeah yep nice and catch up on stuff that nobody has time to do that's awesome yeah because retirement's not all it's cracked up to be right it's really not no. You know, you can only mop that floor so many times. Yeah. You gotta go do something. Well, and it's nice to have a reason to get up and fix your hair in the morning. It truly is. <laughs> and they send me money. There you go. That's an also another benefit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're you're a wonderful ambassador for your city. Well, and we appreciate you. You guys have a good trip. Try to stick around as long as you can. They need I people like you here. Hanging in there. All right, Kathy. Thank you, Thank you so much. Right. You have a wonderful Thanks. day. Thanks. Thank you, dear. Enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let me give you a little view out the window here. Alpine Bank. If you guys are ever uh, thinking about traveling to Colorado, Grand Junction is a beautiful place to visit. It's got very mild climate, nice clean air, and uh, some friendly people from my experience here in Grand Junction. So I would highly recommend it as a destination for you. I'll give you a look out this window. So you have the First United Methodist Church across the street at the corner of North 5th Street and White Avenue. And as I always like to say, it's not over till we're out of the building. So far, so good.
Hello. Oh, it's on the phone. Sorry. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, what can I do for you? Is court in session today? Uh, at 1.30? At 1.30, but not yet. Not yet. Okay, my name's Jason. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. And we're just here visiting Grand Junction and taking a look around your building, doing like a little video tour. And I didn't know if court was in session, so I didn't want to bother anybody. So I just wanted to check first to make sure the courtroom was empty before we take a look at it. Before you take a look at the courtroom? Yeah. Oh. And so you guys are... From a company or? No, we actually live in the Denver area. Okay. We drove to Nevada, uh -huh. uh, just taking a little family vacation. And we're on our way back and we got exhausted last night. So we pulled over, stayed in a hotel here in Grand Junction and just came in and saying hello. Right, this is what we do. We're, travel we're actually traveling the country uh -huh. and we have a goal of visiting all 50 state capitals. Okay. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing. We're just traveling around and we go to municipalities. Um, I just said it to somebody upstairs. Some people take pictures of trains and birds and signs. We like to go into municipal governments and meet the folks that are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You'd rather not be filmed. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not here to film you. I'm just. I'm, I was here to just find out if court was in session because I didn't want to walk in there and have any issues. Yeah. So and then if you want to go upstairs and just make sure it's okay that you go in there. Oh, we we went upstairs. We just introduced ourselves to everybody. We've probably spoken to just about everybody in the building except this office. All right. Hold on. All right. Cool. Um, well, uh, there's. I don't release anything for any. Oh well, th there's no releases needed because we're in public. Uh, Just that, so you know how that works. So okay, thank you. Told you it wasn't over yet. It's always the last one. Odds are she might not come back. Hello. Hi. Hi. So we were just stopping by the desk. My name's Jason. This is my son, Ben. Hi, Ben. And we're just taking a little walking video tour of your building. Um, and before I went into the courtroom, I just wanted to make sure court was not in session and we weren't bothering anybody or interrupting anything. So I just stopped by the desk to ask. Okay. Yeah, do you work here? Or? No, no. Okay. No. Well, let me shut the door and you can film all you... I mean, you're not going to film the computers or anything. No, I'm not interested in any personal information, any restricted information. Just the room. Yeah. Just the room itself. I'm not looking for any personal information, any, okay. nothing like that. We're just, we're looking at the building and just introducing ourselves to people that work here. <laughs> well, I just explained to her, but I'd be happy to tell you. So what we're doing is, did I, this is my son. And what we're doing is we have a very ambitious goal to visit all 50 state capitals. So we're traveling around the country. We live in the Denver area. So we're headed back home now. Got tired last night and stayed in a hotel here in Grand Junction. And saw it as an opportunity to come in and meet the folks at Grand Junction and see, you know, meet the folks that make the wheels turn. And you well, we film everything. That's what we do. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Thank you. My name is Jason, by the way. Jason Robin. Robin, pleasure to meet you. No, I think this is very cool. And you know what? In a place like Grand Junction, there's a lot of history here, and we really think it's fascinating. I'm just spending the time with my son. And we also, you know, it's interesting to see how the folks at the municipalities respond to us coming in with cameras as well and see if they're going to let us come in and take pictures of the public space and mm -hmm. that kind of thing, which you've been wonderful and we appreciate that. Yeah, well, you have to understand it's kind of weird for us, for people to ask. It is weird. Yeah. Yeah, it, no, and I agree. Well, yeah. uh, so let's that's why we're kind more of like, unusual. Who are you and why and how come? Because it's not. And that's why I'm very forthcoming with my answers and tell you exactly what we're doing yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And I was even just going to explain to you what we do is, again, we like to kind of test the waters and see, you know, some municipalities are very transparent, very open, very accountable, mm -hmm. uh, open all their doors to us and say, knock yourselves out. And other municipalities will throw us out the door before we even get in. So yeah. you've been wonderful and we appreciate that because there's nothing to hide. I mean, it's a beautiful courtroom and there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of interesting history here and a lot of interesting people working here. And it's, you know, it's yeah. what we do and we enjoy doing it. And, but I do get that it seems unusual to you because it yeah. is, you know, not a lot of people do it. But, you know, cameras are everywhere these days. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what we do. But it was, I'll just take a quick look around and we'll be right out of your hair. And what is it? Courts in session today at 1, 1 30? 1 30. All right, good. So I'm glad we got here in time to get out of your hair before that happens. Yeah. 
But no, thank you. We, we just feel like it's very, uh, part of what we do is we think it's very important for government to be transparent and open and we are very aware of restricted access and we don't cross those lines. We make sure that we ask permission to go into areas that we need to ask permission to go into. So that's what we do. That's all it is. But you've been wonderful again and I thank you for your cordial demeanor and your smile. It means a lot. It's a nice welcome to your city. And thank you very much. All righty. Have a good day, Robin. All right, guys. Um, city of Grand Junction, City Hall. Uh, you know, as the young lady was just saying, as Robin was saying, you know, it is unusual for people to come in with cameras and uh, be looking around. But um, I think they were very cordial and helpful. And uh, you know, it's okay if they ask questions and want to know what we're doing. Of course, I mean they should, uh, because there are, you know, as as innocent as our activities are, there are people out there that uh, might not have such innocent intentions and uh, they definitely need to you know protect the people that work inside you know you ask a couple of questions you get a sense of somebody you get a feel for things nobody called the police nobody freaked out um, and that's what you do so I think it was handled well by the staff here in Grand Junction and uh, of course as usual we always ask you to chime in and let us know what you think um, and give us your thoughts and opinions and uh, you know share your ideas let us know if there's anything you think we could have done differently or anything we missed or anything we should have said. Um, and if you enjoy our videos and you like what we do and you want to support us, the easiest way to do that is to click the like button and share our videos. Uh, it doesn't cost you a penny and helps our channels out tremendously. Uh, YouTube's algorithm loves that kind of stuff. So uh, also if you're so inclined and you'd like to subscribe, just don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell and hit all and that way you'll be notified of all our videos as they come out and please feel free to do the same for watching the watchman he uh, just hit 15,000 subscribers yesterday he's doing great and uh, he's got a lot of stuff in his videos that I don't um, including the way he edits and maps and zooms and um, all kinds of interesting stuff so definitely check him out I'll leave a link in the description for you and uh, that's it so I think that's gonna do it for here and we are going to jump back in the truck. We have several stops planned today and uh, see what else we can find for you. So for now, coming to you from the City Hall here in Grand Junction, Colorado, watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. Catch you on the next one, guys. Out.